You look like I'm robbing a bank. <laughs> you look so weird. Like something's different. Something's different. And like I don't know if she forgot okay. or just hasn't got to it or no. she's going for the my side of a cardboard box look. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's just joking. Um my eye makeup like tends to smear and I didn't wanna do it at like six o'clock this morning when we left and so I was like, I'll just do it like on the way there or like while we're there waiting because we have to call before because it takes super quick. So like I'm robbing a bank. <laughs> you look so weird. Oh, I still have my glasses on. That's probably part of it. Alright guys, just filling some paperwork out last minute. And uh, waiting on the bed. It seems like a short bed. Well, that was quick. That yeah. took all of like four minutes. The ladies are so nice, the nurses were. And yeah, it was really quick. Didn't hurt. They put a little water in my uterus and did an ultrasound, looked it, looked around, everything looked good. Yay! Paperwork's taking the longest so Paperwork's far. Paperwork's taking the longest. I still need to fill it out. We gotta do a blood draw and find out what else is left. Let's do it. All right. Well, we did it, and that was so quick. We were told the appointment was going to be two hours, but it was like, what, 30 minutes? Yeah, it's 10.35, 10.36. Yeah, so almost good. Done. And yep. I think we're still catching up with everything. Like, it all happened so quickly. But the ultrasound went well, um, breast exam. Blood draw. Blood draw, was, which was quick. I couldn't have Dan back there with me because the room was small. But I did find it just, like, kept touching my finger. She had, like, eight different vials to, like, do a little blood in. She did that much? Yeah. It wasn't like eight full. It was just like That was a so little fast bit. though. Yeah, it was quick. Um, so yeah, that went well. And then afterward I'm like, the lady was like, and then you're free to go. I'm like, uh, can we talk for a second? I'm like, I I'm like, where do we go we from need, here? Like <laughs> we need to know what to what's do next. What's next? And she just took us back to the room. She was like, Okay, so have you done this and this? Have you done psychology? Have you done legal? I'm like, Yep, we've, you know, had our psych exams um and then we're we're working with legal right now and she was like well yeah from here keep taking your birth control um talk you know, about do the legal shots and pills that you'd yep. end up taking talk to me about the vaginal pill the shots like basically from here we'll wait till my blood work comes back and then um for a psychologist to send the paperwork here to the clinic 
Um, and once they have everything and they give the intended mother the thumbs up, then we get the thumbs up. So it's crazy. It's crazy. It's all happening. It's happening real quick. Here it goes. Do you know where we're going? Where are we going? To the restaurant. To the, to the restaurant. To the restaurant. Good job. Okay, where are we going, Bubba? To the restaurant. And who are we going to go eat with? Yeah, who are we meeting there? Do you know? Is it the baby's mommy and daddy? Yeah. Who's someone The baby's for someone else. Good job. It's for them, huh? What's up, dude? You want to go? Yeah, not for me and daddy. Bubba, do you want to bring your sunglasses and say what's up, dude, to them? Yeah lunch with the intended parents and it was so good to meet them in person and just hug them um and it felt so natural it felt like a friendship we've had forever um we've been texting and keeping in touch for a while so we had that kind of base to go off of um but it was so good to finally meet them in person we were dropping my kids off to my grandparents that night so that they could watch them and i get a message that i have um a message in my portal so I checked it right away because I figured it would be blood work um, and it was one from um, the fertility doctor and he said so far your blood test results look good your TSH is let's see high it's it was 3.02 and it should be normal or it should be around 2.5 or under 2.5 I'm learning all of this terminology so um, take it all with a grain of salt um, and my thyroid is underactive my thyroid gland is underactive so I have to take a little one pill a day um, to help get that normal so of course right away I was like oh bummer like I wanted everything to be perfect thus far the process has been so seamless and like gone so well that um, we were kind of spoiled in that but it's not this isn't like a um, like a no it's just you know a little little speed bump in the road so anyways i'll start that medication i just picked it up um so i'll start, start that tomorrow and then i get another message and i'm like oh no by this point i'm like starting to get sick to my stomach the fertility doctor was like you have a heart-shaped uterus so the indentation that kind of divides it sometimes it makes two uteruses for a woman um so mine's not two it just has a little indention into it and the bigger the indention, the increase, the higher the risk of miscarriage. Well, I haven't ever had a miscarriage and I had two healthy pregnancies. So he's like, if this was any other case, I would transfer an embryo like normal into a uterus like yours. But, you know, just go ahead and let your intended parents know. So that made me feel good that he said that. Um, so I did both the TSH uh, message and then this one I sent to our intended parents. We're 100% open. We want, um, this is their journey for their baby and so we want them to have the final say in everything and agree obviously um with kind of you know what like our my health and whatnot so let them know she said no worries like we we trust we trust his recommendation we trust the process like medically but we also trust god's plan and so that like it was so good to hear because ultimately like god's plan is bigger than a little indentation in my uterus and um you know he can he can make the situation just um happen in a way that he wants it to and so um yeah that was just really good to hear and then i got another message this morning i was like oh boy here's another one but it was just um the pharmacist saying hey um, your prescription's called in go ahead and pick it up and then start taking it in four to six weeks we'll retest so there's a little update for you that all happened so quickly and I wasn't ready for it. I was expecting, oh, like we'll get through the weekend and I'll get my results on, you know, Monday, Tuesday. Um, but they're working, they're hard at work. They were up all night messaging me. Just went grocery shopping and researched a ton of natural remedies to um, fix my hypothyroidism. Very fun term that I'm learning now. And so, um, or to help with that and so I grabbed a bunch of stuff excited to meal prep this week we live a fairly healthy lifestyle active and I would say like our eating is like 70 30 but lately because we've been busy with renovating the RV and just um it's just been a busy season it's the holidays that I'll be honest my diet hasn't been too good um I've still been working out a few days a week and staying active but we can always improve right so I 
um yeah just excited to meal prep and kind of get back on track and be healthy again and just be the best i can for the baby and for this process and so yeah should be a fun yummy week of good recipes okay so I just got a text message that I have a message on my IVF portal. So I logged on and yesterday, um, the intended mother and I chatted and we we're like, have you heard the final results? No, have you heard the final results? And so I sent a message like, Hey, we're just wanting to see like how the final results looked for blood work and ultrasound and if we were going to move forward and we got the final all clear. So that is exciting news. Um, so now from here, we will do legal and then we'll schedule some infectious labs afterward and then plan a transfer date. So things are moving forward and I'm so excited for the couple. Just suck in popcorn seeds, popcorn kernels. Some of them are partially popped and those are the best ones. So you're There's sucking so them flavor. to determine? Oh well, yeah, I'm filling them with my tongue. <laughs> he likes to like eat the kernels and crunch them down. Not anymore because I have... Oh, you have your liners. Liners. And your teeth are sore. They're always sore. But the like half popped ones have the full flavor of the popped ones just in a tiny little bite. <laughs> we just finished reading through the contract that was... 45 pages in total yep. um the funniest part was there's a part about <laughs> conflict resolution yeah and which is talking good. about getting a mediator or mediation and sam <laughs> thought it was meditation i read it as a meditation and it, i can't read it but it's basically saying <laughs> i mean there were paragraphs and paragraphs that she was giggling the whole time the whole time through because all she was saying is mediator mediation and the whole time she's thinking meditation meditation, meditation. and a meditator after reading so long like it's so good that we're both like i was reading it but he was watching while i was reading and it's good th it's a good thing that you were here because yeah. after so many pages and so many words you're like brain just like mixed well, up well also and we'd go into the conversation like... with the lawyer like um so we're not really meditators but it says that we but need to says... do four hours of meditation <laughs> for conflict resolution i mean like it wouldn't be a bad thing <clears throat> but i'm not about to go meditate for four hours <laughs> right anyways that just gave us a little giggle and it was good because mm. it was on like was one of the last few pages um so it kind of gave us that little boost of energy we needed to get done but we're done and tomorrow morning we have a call with our attorney and babe we could have a date a transfer date set by like maybe the end of the week maybe by christmas that's crazy oh the parents would be so excited i hope it's by before christmas for them that would be so fun that would be got off the call with the attorney Dan left for work um, but it went well she had a few revisions revisions that she wanted to make and just clarify some of the terms in it um, we had one or two questions our last name was spelled wrong a couple times because it's Matthews with one T and not two T's um, and other than that everything everything looked good she um, just wanted to clarify that we understood some stuff and I think all is well. So she is going to make a few revisions to it, send it back to their attorney. Um, I think at that point, if they agree with the revision she made, then they will sign and then it will come back to us and we will sign. Um, and then we're good and transfer date can be set. All right, I'm adding into this clip because I did not do a recording of our, like when we finalized the contract. So December 31st, we finalized, it was so exciting. Um, I think because of New Year's Eve and just getting ready for that and getting the kids ready to go to my mom's, I just didn't think about recording a video, but um, it was a really special day and um, definitely exciting for the parents. So here it goes. It's starting.